today we will learn about factors of the form x plus a into bracket x plus b. Suppose we are required to factorize this algebraic expression. Can we use these identities? Think, think. Let me tell you, here the number 20 is not a perfect square. So, this expression is not of type a plus b bracket square or a minus b bracket square. That is, it is not a square expression. Similarly, we also see that it is also not an expression of type a square minus b square. Here, we will use this identity. If the expression corresponds to the right side of this identity, then its factors correspond to the left side of the identity. This is the fourth identity of algebraic expressions that we have studied earlier. Let's try to arrange this expression. According to this identity, if we compare this expression with the right side of the identity, then we see that the coefficient of x square is 1, just like the right side of the identity. In the same way, the coefficients of the second term in both expressions gives a plus b is equal to 9 and coefficients of the third term, that is constant term in both expressions, gives ab is equal to 20. Now, we will find the values of a and b so that both these conditions are satisfied. That is, we need two numbers whose product is 20 and sum is 9. Will you be able to find two such numbers? Think, think. Let me tell you, two such numbers are 4 and 5 because 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 20 and 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. In this way, we can write the middle term 9x of the expression x square plus 9x plus 20 as 4 plus 5x. In this way, we have arranged the given expression as the right side of this identity. We can write it like this by removing the brackets. x square plus into bracket 4 plus 5 x plus 20 x square plus 4x plus 5x plus 20 The first two terms have x as their common factor. So, we can take x outside the brackets and represent this group as x into bracket x plus 4. Similarly, 5 is the common factor between the third and fourth terms. So, we can also take it outside the bracket and write this group as 5 into bracket x plus 4. Now, we see that x plus 4 is a common factor, so we can take it common and write the expression as x plus 4 into bracket x plus 5. In this way, the factorization of x square plus 9x plus 20 is x plus 4 into bracket x plus 5. Generally, to factorize the expression of type x square plus px plus q, we find two factors a and b of constant term q such that ab is equal to q and a plus b is equal to p, using which the expression can be arranged as x square plus a plus bx plus ab. It can be written as x square plus ax plus bx plus ab. With further factorization like this, we will get x into bracket x plus a plus b into bracket x plus a, which is equal to x plus a into bracket x plus b. These are the factors of x square plus px plus q. In this process, we have splitted the middle term. Thus, we also understand this process by the name middle term splitting.
So, can you tell me how we can factorize x square minus x minus 42? Pause the video and try it. Let me tell you, here the coefficient of x square is 1, the coefficient of x is minus 1 and the constant is minus 42. We have to find two numbers a and b for which product is minus 42 and the sum is minus 1. The conditions in which we get the product of two numbers minus 42 are as follows. Now, can you find the two factors of 42 which when added gives result minus 1? Think, think. Correct. The sum of 6 and minus 7 is minus 1 and so we will choose 6 and minus 7. Now we can write 6 minus 7 at the place of the coefficient of x that is minus 1 in x square minus x minus 42. Thus we get the expression x square plus 6x minus 7x minus 42 that is x into bracket x plus 6 minus 7 into bracket x plus 6 that is x plus 6 into bracket x minus 7. Solving in this way, we will get the factorization of the expression x square minus x minus 42 as x plus 6 into bracket x minus 7. Now, you must have understood this method very well. So today we have learned the factors of the form x plus a into bracket x plus b. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to them.